Alright guys, check it out. This is Ed from Heights of Gaming. Um, just doing a little set review of Photon Shockwave. Just so you know, I do have the guaranteed lowest price on Photon Shockwave. I sell at heightsofgaming.com. I sell the box for $58.50, but let me get to the set review, alright? So here's a card right here, um, you know, tribute to 15 or 100 higher attack, uh, you know, dark monster, and then you could destroy all special summon monsters and opponents inside the field. With special summons going off more than ever, um, this is something that I think is pretty cool. It'll also take care of uh, exceed monsters, which is something that not all cards will do. You take a look at, um, you know, something like this next card right here. This card will destroy any level five or higher special summon monster, but exceed monsters don't have a level; they have a rank. So this card over here is something that can catch exceeds and is a good tool for you know maybe a chaos. You know, I summon the snipe hunter. And then I start doing all my stuff, and then, you know, you try to special summon to counter my stuff, and then I, you know, I, I nuke your field. This guy over here, um, you know, it does banish the target, so it will work against Stardust. So it's pretty cool, it's interesting. Um, it may be something, you know, some type of control deck with Cockroach uh, stopping people, uh, summoning the big guys, Thunder, uh, Thunder King stopping big guys. You know, I think Chaos has some nice little tools here. Here we have Voldars. They're like a new dinosaur subtype that are going to have like, you know, looks like they have very decent support. They have a lot of things. You look at the way that they design new cards, Fables, TGs, Karakuris. They have the whole entire play design designed already. You don't really need to mix and match different things into there. They already kind of like have their own dedicated spells and traps and uh, support monsters that will achieve, you know, win conditions fairly rapidly. And Voldars look to be very serious. This guy, when you summon... Um, I believe that he lets you search, you know, so he's like a 1900 beat stick attached to a rota for, for, for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs also have a search card that's better than rota, lets you, uh, you know, add level 5 or 6 to your hand. And I really think this old Voldar thing will, um, will be topping or be a serious contender in the meta. Here we have, um, you know, new classes of Exceed Monsters, and Photon Shockwave really brings uh, Exceed Monsters to a new level of strength. Uh, this card, um, i trying to remember exactly what it does. Um, not that memorable, so maybe it wasn't the best one. Um, you know, but yeah, 4 star, 2400, decent. This guy right here, you, uh, tri you tribute to uh, level, uh, what is it, 2000 or higher attack monsters, and then all of a sudden this guy just pops up out of nowhere. 3000 attack, very easy to get two level four two thousand monsters. You could use um, grave keepers. You know, I use um, what is it? Uh, Necro Valley pump my guys. All of a sudden, bam! All of a sudden, I have a light monster hitting the field. You could use other things. You could use Cyber Dragon, uh, other type. You know, the tricky. And all of a sudden, bam! Three thousand hits the field. You have a light and maybe a wind in your. You know, if I could use other cards, you know, get out Dark Smorg. The game is definitely faster than ever, guys. Ho oh, oh, interesting card. It's a one sack for a you know harpy's feather duster on your opponent, but in a you know in a game where there's three MSTs and heavy storms running around, I don't think that this card is really going to be contender. But it's just something to note. You know, a lot of people are uh, you know noticing that Poke Drago looks a lot like Charmander, and you know this guy looks like another card from Pokemon. Just an interesting tribute to Pokemon on Yu-Gi-Oh's part. Here's um you'll see a lot you'll see a new class of a whole bunch of monsters. This is level three that says you know you can special summon from the graveyard when it goes to the graveyard. Um, that's incredible. It's kind of like a sinister reminds me a lot of Sinister Serpent, but you know you cannot use him for synchro summoning. So there's a whole new class of cards that cannot be used for synchro summoning. This is really you know to enable the exceed mechanic to go off uh, well. Um, you know it does have to go by battle I believe, so you can't use um, you know like Snake Rain or things like that. But you know just uh, you know reptiles are getting some new support, which are interesting. Plus he's a light reptile, which is also cool for those chaos decks. This guy is nuts. For I think he may be three level four monsters, so once again you're probably having to use Gravekeeper Spy. Maybe, you know, special you know, normal summon a level four after you flip up your uh, Gravekeeper. And then when he hits the field, then you can discard a card to draw a card. Wow, that's incredible. The draw power with this guy, you know, also once he comes to the field, once you remove all his, his monsters, he doesn't lose the ability to attack or anything like that, so he's still gonna be around to attack and defend the twenty four hundred attack. You'll be able to have, uh, you know, um, draw on a couple cards, you know, accelerate a couple cards to the graveyard, be a glow-up bulb, or, 
you know, more chaos material, this guy's going to be really serious. And I think that, you know, he's definitely worth an inclusion in a lot of decks. I think he's a definite contender. 2400 defense, too. He's got really uh, some great stats. You know, the econ him or whatever, he's still running around. This guy over here is also nuts. Two, uh, I think three level threes, maybe two level threes. Not that hard to get out. Um, we're looking at, you know, 18, but when you remove his pieces, everybody gains 300 attack on your side of the field. So, of course, you're going to automatically remove the, the two, oh, it's two monsters, yeah, because he's automatically going to hit 24, and all your monsters get a pump by, you know, by 300 attack points. That's really good. Uh, I think maybe even 600 attack points, it's going to be ridiculous. Here's a new class of monster that requires three level ones. To summon, uh, you know, her effect is okay. You know, you got a bunch of weak guys, and her attack itself is pretty weak. But you're gonna see a whole bunch of people running, you know, um, Agent Venus, you know, popping out those mystical shine balls. There's other cards that are also enabling the mystical shine ball combo, and also machine duplication for Cyber Valley stuff like that will also have this just as another option for them. So, um, yeah, you know, she's also a dark, which makes it interesting. You know, you could get, you know, pop out lights and darks. Once again, for more chaos good madness. This is the first, uh, this is a level 8 uh, light monster, um, Bunzilla. We haven't seen uh, normal monsters for a long, long time. I've been drafting sets, and I don't think they've come up with any normal monsters for, honestly, maybe even like 10 sets or more. There have been no normal monsters to speak of. Here we have a level 8 normal monster, light monster, awesome for going to the graveyard, using with trade-in. And then um, we have... Uh, it's a dragon type, which also has other synergies. And then you'd probably be swinging out mem Swing of Memories cards, and there's a level 8 um, Exceed monster. So I think people will be Swing of Memories, Swing of Memories, Exceed monstering out. You know, they also have two Call of the Haunteds. Call of the Haunted is not that great with three Mystical Space Typhoons running around in Heavy Storm, but, you know, it is something that people will start to look at. You know, also, um, you know, you have that whole Red Eyes, Darkness, Dragon, you know, ridiculous combo and uh, Future Fusion, stuff like that. There's definitely some serious things going on with this, and uh, this is a really great inclusion. I'm glad to see no monsters back in the sets. Rescue Rabbit, a complete uh, Gladiator Beast enabler. You can get a 2 and dolls, and then go into Isidari, getting a 2,500 beat stick to the field, solving a lot of Gladiator Beast problems of really uh, maintaining that, um, that beat stick field control once you get your Isidari to the field. Uh, however, with Happy Storm and 3 Mystical Space Typhoon, uh, you know, Gladiator Beast will be suffering greatly. Uh, they don't really have the protection that they really want to really succeed. Um, this is, you know, once again, those, uh, you know, cannot be used for Synchro Summon. This guy just pops out when you have another level 4. You're going to see all kinds of swarming going on, but the swarm is not that strong. He's only got 1100 attack. You know, um, they're really trying to enable the whole Exceed mechanic. And, oh, Shatter, Shatter Pot Agreed. This card is nuts. Pot of Greed on a continuous spell card. you got to wait a couple turns to use it. But, you know, if you don't use it, the, the advantage of drawing two cards is really great. I think that people um, will not initially will not like this card because they cannot get the cards right away. You know, in those two turns, you can easily lose the game. All kinds of other nuts things can go off. But in the right kind of stall deck, you know, there's also a you know, mechanic called Storm in a Magic the Gathering which uh, could be coming to play. There's cards that said, like, when when a card uh, activates for every other card that was activated that turn, then these things can go off. So um, the fact that it doesn't really go off until two turns later could uh, enable a future storm mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and just drawing two cards is just too good for a lot of people to pass up. I think this will be something that people will be looking at. This card over here, that's that Mystical Shine Ball enabled that I was talk, telling you about. Uh, special Summon 3 level uh, 2 or lower, I believe, uh, normal monsters. So Mystical Shine Balls and Skull Servants will be popping to the field for Exceed Summoning or Synchro Summoning goodness. And those are some of the cards I thought were more interesting. Uh, I see that I used up almost all my time for this video. Once again, I hope you guys, you know, Heights of Gaming does have the guaranteed lowest price on all booster boxes. And right now we are pre-selling this box at 58.50. Alright, have a good one.